Hey guys, what is up? How's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. Again, something special that I'm doing in this video is I am live on Instagram, okay? And my friend Ricky is uh, shooting our live Instagram right this second. So a lot of the times when I'm making these videos, these videos go live a month or two months from the day that they're recorded. But if you're on my Snapchat or Instagram, you get to see this live while I'm doing it. So this is your incentive to join my Instagram. I'll put my whatever username or whatever right up here. It's Clever Kazi, C-L-E-V-E-R-Q-A-Z-I. And that's why you should follow me on Instagram. I'll show you coding tips. I'll show you a lot of productivity tips. I will show you fitness tips. I will show you business tips, entrepreneurial tips, negotiation tips, pretty much everything that you can imagine. It's even hard for me to cover that on YouTube and everywhere else because on YouTube, I have to give you that perfect, finished, edited product, everything cut out and pretty. Whereas on Instagram, you get to see the messy lifestyle of a developer and you know, the kind of lifestyle that I was able to form, you know, such as traveling around different cities, different states. Hopefully I'll be going to new countries pretty soon. And uh, you know, you get to see that lifestyle, you get to embrace it. And you know, again, what I say is more is caught than taught. So if you just are on my YouTube or my, you know, my coding channels and stuff like that, Yes, I will teach you a lot, but if you're on my Instagram, you will get, you know, it's like you'll catch a lot of these things and these habits will kind of rub off on you and become your normal habits. So that's my shameless plug for my Instagram channel, but what I want to do is now get this video started and this video is gonna be about what the heck would I do if I was 18 again? I am 23 right now, okay? So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So if I was 18 again, right, what I would do is I would start creating content on YouTube. I would start blogging as soon as possible and I would try to make as many friends as possible, okay? Uh, because you want to start learning social skills as fast as possible and you want to leave your mark on the world. If you don't contribute, if you don't create, if you don't produce, if you don't provide value to the world, it's almost like you don't even exist, okay? So kind of think of it like that. Like if you don't have social media presence, you're fucking dead, okay? I know it sounds harsh and I love you, but it's kind of true. So by having that presence, people who, uh, there are a lot of people who will watch your videos and get magnetized to you and want to work with you and you'll be getting job offers and freelance offers without you even actually trying, okay? So here's what I mean. Do you have to be an expert to start producing content? Absolutely not, okay? You can start producing content on anything that you're learning right this second, okay? So if you're learning coding, you're learning social studies, you're learning whatever, whatever interests you right this moment, including things like what book you're reading right now, okay? If you start creating content on it, one, you're teaching it, and if you teach something, it cements knowledge, right? It makes it more real and materializes in your head and you become a master of it, okay? Two, you're providing value to other people, okay? So if you are wanna do it for altruistic purposes, you can, but if you're not that nice guy and uh, you just wanna do it for yourself, I'll tell you some more valuable things that you get out of it, okay? So number three, it's other people finding your work, okay? You'll find other like-minded people that you can connect with throughout the world. Even if your family doesn't understand you, even if your friends doesn't understand, don't understand you, you can create your own network of people to study with, to learn from, to travel with that beautiful stuff and hold each other accountable. Number four, you'll get job offers, you'll get freelance offers, and imagine you go into an interview and there are multiple candidates for that job. Which candidate do you think they'll choose? Do you think they'll choose the candidate who just went through like the regular motions of society, such as went to college and got a degree for that job and that's all the passion he has for that programming job? Or do you think they'll pick somebody who's blogging about it, who's networking with other people about it, who's creating YouTube content about it, you know, who's passionate about this stuff and has, uh, has produced knowledge and wealth to the world? Right, So this will differentiate you and position you as an expert, even if you're not, even if you're just two, three months in. Right, This will allow you to put your foot in the door and let's say you don't get that senior level developer job, you can get that junior level developer job or that intern level developer job. So if I was 18 again, I would start creating, stop procrastinating, stop 
consuming, stop envying, stop lingering, stop thinking, and I would start doing, I would start producing, I would start creating, I would start contributing, I would start sharing, and I would start providing to the world. Okay, so that's my message for this video. Hopefully you loved it. Before I let you go, I do have to announce my new course called Create Apps and Land Your First Client with Python is gonna be launched this year, 2017, okay? Early November. You don't want to miss this. This course teaches you how to create apps, how to build a portfolio, how to land your first client with Python and start making money as fast as possible in as little as 90 days with Python. My goal for you is to learn coding but also to start making money with computer programming okay i don't want to just take money out of your pocket i want to put it back in your pocket okay and then i want to teach you web development with coding as well okay so i want to give you those practical skills that are much needed because you have thousands of courses on udemy and all these other websites but they only show you technical things how about who's like i want to show you guys things like if you're at a job right now and you're busy you don't have all the time in the world. So how can you maximize the one and two hours you get to build that portfolio and to start getting jobs, right? I, I know you don't have all the time in the world to create those search engines and stuff like that, that courses on Udacity or Udemy have you do. So I wanna teach you all the practical things, right? Uh, how do you start getting a job as fast as possible? Other coding courses don't teach you that, right? And if you're a complete beginner, how do you transition into making money with coding? All right, so hopefully this gives you enough information about this course. If you wanna get on the VIP waitlist for my Create Apps and Land Your First Client with Python course, I'll put a link here. It's called cleverprogrammer.to slash first client with Python. Okay, that's what the link should be. And once you go to this link and you sign up for my VIP waitlist for this upcoming flagship course, it's completely free to get on the VIP waitlist and you'll be the first one to know when this course comes out. Also, you'll get all the bonuses such as how I became a software developer in less than three months and these resources I'll give you for free, okay? So, that's it for this video. As always, I love your faces off. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.